Well, it's time for weather and sports. Let's head over to the weather map. Sierra Wave Media prognosticator Dennis Mattinson noting that upper low brought convection to parts of the district in Nevada today. Mattinson says left some interesting weather in places. Mount Whitney area saw an intense cell pass through, dropping temperatures 25 degrees. Heavy downpour really kicking up the winds. Alabama Hills, 35 mile an hour winds. Keeler, 42 mile an hour sustained wind speed, gusting to 57. Mattinson says another upper low is poised to reach the California coast by Thursday morning, bringing more cooling to the district into Friday. Low tonight into tomorrow morning for Mammoth, 39 degrees. Bishop and the Owens Valley, 48 degrees. Mammoth, we're going to put in a 30% chance of rain on Thursday. Southwest winds blowing 20 to 25 miles an hour, 55 the expected high Thursday in the town of Mammoth Lakes, low of about 30 for Mono County. Continued with about a 30% chance of rain possible Friday. Southwest winds 10 to 15 miles an hour. 54 the high in Mammoth, low of about 32 degrees. Ah, but look at Saturday for Mono County. Sunny skies, light wind. 59 the high in Mammoth, low of about 41 degrees. For Bishop and the Owens Valley, Thursday calls for partly cloudy skies. Might see some southwest winds pick up 5 to 15 miles an hour. 77 the high in Bishop, low of about 46 degrees. Partly cloudy skies again Friday for the Valley. Northeast East winds blowing 5 to 10 miles an hour, 73 the expected high, low of about 41 degrees. A chance of rain overnight Friday for the valley into Saturday, but should just be absolutely gorgeous with sunny skies, light winds, 82 the expected high in Bishop, low of about 45 degrees. I'm going to jump over to some sports here, and I want to take a look at some file footage of Bishop Union High School sophomore Sean Minton. Couldn't be more happy and proud of this young man. You know, the CIF Southern Section Golf Regionals were held Monday for Bishop High School golfers participated in the Central Regional and Bronco sophomore Sean Minton qualified to advance to the CIF finals. Again, we're looking at some file footage here of Sean. Boy, the CIF Southern section does not go by enrollment, so the Broncos were up against all kinds of different school sizes, and Sean Minton was uh, very solid in his play on Monday. How about a three over par 75 at the Victoria Club in Riverside? That was good for a tie for 14th place out of 109 golfers for Sean Minton. Sean will now play at La Parisima Golf Course in Lompoc coming up on Monday in the CIF Finals. Great there for Sean Minton. Boy, look at that swing. Really nice, huh? Also for Bishop, Joey Medora, 83, Levi Kujawa, 86, and Brendan Shibley withdrew after 15 holes. He was hot and humid down there. But again, Sean Minton, very cool, going to the CIF Southern Section Finals coming up on Monday. Three over par 75. He's just a sophomore, playing really well. Very happy there for Sean Minton. I want to take a look at a little file footage here also of the Bishop Union High School baseball team. Uh, the Broncos in the CIF Southern Section Ford Championships presented by Farmers Division 6 wildcard action on Tuesday. Uh, well, they, they, they had an easy time with Lone Pine, a 24-4 win for the Broncos over the Golden Eagles. We'll note that Cam White went 5-6 for six with a home run and two doubles. He was also the winning pitcher. Boy, he's really hitting the ball well. Coach Tim Reed said, Cam White, yeah, it looks like a volleyball coming at him. Uh, right now, the Bishop Broncos, however, have to travel to Malibu on on Friday. This will be first round action in the Division 6 playoffs. Malibu is the number two seed in this tournament. Coach Tim Reed from Bishop said, you know, we've looked at them. We think we got a good shot. They kind of play small ball, like to bunt, like to steal. He said they haven't really scored a whole lot of runs. He said we think we can go down and compete with them, especially with Cy Scott on the mound and uh, maybe his curveball will be raking about four feet at uh, sea level as opposed to a little elevation in Bishop. So good luck to the Broncos at Malibu, the number two seed Friday in first round Division Six baseball action. That's going to wrap up news and information for us here on Sierra Wave TV. You know, we're part of Sierra Wave Media along with 92.5 FM, 96.5 FM. You can hear our radio station streaming on our website, sierrawave.net. Have a great evening, everybody. Good night.